Oh, you want to go to Hammond's? You want to go to Hammond's? You want to go see Tim? Oh, it's, oh, 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 it's so exciting! Do you have fish? Do you have fish and fishing lures? <laughs> <laughs> well, as you can guess, we are at Hammond's uh, in beautiful Georgia. This is probably one of my favorite shops, and Bog is all fired up, and he's bog, we're bog friendly up in here. That's right. But I got my boy Tim. Tim is an absolute stick. He runs Hammond's. If you have any questions ever about Lake Lanier or the lakes around or spotted, it's kind of cold, dude. I haven't drank enough coffee. Yeah, spotted bass fishing in general, this is the one you need to talk to. And dude, I don't get it. Everyone's gonna steal my dog. <laughs> So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and I'm going to ask Tim actually a couple baits, new things that he has in store that are super hot that are going to be working right now on Lake Lanier and if you fish for spotted bass. And he's going to show me some cool stuff in the store that they're doing to kind of like modify it. We did a walkthrough probably like a year ago or so, but a lot has changed since then, right? Yeah, we've changed a lot of stuff up. Well, let's do it. Let's show me some stuff, dude. Come on. Dude, you love this. Something new for us is sliding rod shelves, sliding Whoa. rod racks. So, trying to incorporate a way to make more room for more rods. So, because I guess adding, that's a big deal. You guys got a yeah. ton more stuff. Yeah, we got a lot more stuff coming as well. We got a lot of new rods coming. We're adding almost everything we can get our hands on at this moment. So. Um, <clears throat> this allows us to double our capacity on rods, and it makes it easier. Yeah, to grab a mountain that you're not like juggling and, yeah. and Everything's stuff. Everything's eye level for the most part. It makes a big difference when people are trying to shop for rods. So if you guys watch the videos, you know we, we run that free tournament at Flippers from time to time, and this is kind of a variation on that theme, and it is awesome. So we're able to add a lot more. A ton more, dude. Product shelving, a whole another eight foot, you know, piece. And we add the two to the jig head aisle alone, just to the jig head aisle alone. And our plans are to add probably two to every single aisle in here to keep adding tackle. So what's something new, Tim, that, that you guys just got in mm. that might... Are, are you talking? talking? You want to go fishing? Hey, I'm always you talking. Hey, what's something new, though, that, that you kind of want to mm. highlight maybe that you've been throwing or that's been even hot for some of your customers out on the near or for spotted bass? We're going to spring. We're kind of in spring, contrary to the, the big beanie hat. This is like one day of cold, and then it's going to be warm did, spawning. Did we go over the sweet baits last time? No, let's see them. All right, so sweet baits are really hard to get. There's one guy making them. Okay. Um, Man, as soon as I get them, they're typically gone. So. Actually, I just heard a customer asking your guy at the desk, like, hey, there's some sweet baits behind the desk for me or something like yep. that I needed to pick so, up. Typically, when I get these, they're gone. I got them in yesterday, and I've already sold almost all of them. So, so the irony is, literally, there's, like, no label on it. Like, it's, it's just, just... on the side. It's just... That's a $100 swim bait. Is it local, or is it's it... It's a local guy, yeah. Well, you're out of control. You're knocking stuff down, dude. <laughs> uh, so tell me, other than the fact that... Actually, we, can you crack one of these open, or is yeah. it a staple? Yeah, crack one open for let's me. Do a, let's do a full one. We'll do a full one. So, other than the fact that they're absolutely gorgeous, and we're going to take a look at what they look like, what is, what is like, the art of the sweet bait? It's got a great name, too. So, he, yeah, I think he does, like, 17 coats of paint on it. Yeah, I can see. You, can't you, can, you can see. It's just amazing. But it instantly starts swimming when it hits the water. So, so it that's one of the advantages of this. Can I see that? And it's a plastic. It's, is, a, it's a super fluke. Uh, the oh, sorry, it's the fluke. Okay. Albino. And is there a pin in there, that, there or is, is it glued pen. in? Yep. So it's, you can it's just a replace in. tail. It's epoxy in, but you can knock it loose. That's awesome, dude. So and add any tail you want, just like a lot of the other swim baits out there. So question, like, and as a tackle shop owner, you have to answer one way, but I'm still gonna ask you because you're a pretty honest guy. Does it catch fish and fishermen, or does Absolutely. it just? Really? Yeah, it's, uh, he's also got a foiled one, which okay. is really nice. And uh, I throw natural blueback and foil. All right. three are <laughs> really nice. And so. just and it, is it that same like essing motion it like is. you get out of like it the Sabil and that? Absolutely. But it's its own unique mm. essing own, motion. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it swims literally perfect every single time you throw it. It's How amazing. deep does it like? Is it a, if you slow reel? It's kind of like, it's kinda like a Sabil. If you slow reel it, you can keep it down a little yeah. bit. But it's kind of like a Sabil where you throw it out there, you let it sink. 
instant you start turning it, that S makes it want to come right come to the rise. top. So it usually anywhere from two feet and up is where you want to run that thing. A hundred bu- hundred bucks, huh? Hundred bucks, that's cheap. And, and will you sell these online actually? Yes, just okay. a few. Here just a few here and there. I don't put all of them online because it's more for I try to keep most of these for my in store customers. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's just makes them come to the store. But if they give you a call and they're like Tim, hook a brother up. So, sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, this is Some, good. I, what what else you got that's kind of fun? Like, oh, like it doesn't have to be new so much as. Uh, so I'm gonna go out fishing on Lanier, and I'll be honest with you. I actually kind of understand Lanier a little. Or let me say this: I can catch a few bass. Part of it is because he kind of gives me a little bit of direction in that. But I feel pretty comfortable out here because it's almost like a, a shallower Smith. So whenever I do these tackle shop walkthroughs, I'm looking for some tips on some bait. So what's something that I can be throwing right now that that's gonna work for the next week, two weeks? Well. I think swim I know where he's aisle. taking me. <laughs> swim bait aisle's the deal. Does it start with a K? Man, it's not just, you don't have to just throw a Kai, kai tag. That's well, a good point. Let's talk about that. Everybody makes a decent swim bait, but right now on Lanier, they want something around three inches. That 2.8, that 3.3, that little easy size. That's the deal. Right? Really? So, people, when, when people typically walk in, they go from that front door. They skip, <laughs> they skip the front counter and they literally just walk straight to this aisle. And this is where they start. Only they grab a red basket uh-huh. and they start right here. Well, I mean, it is. Way down. You guys so. can't see, but this runs like what, like 40 feet or so? Yeah, like, I mean, it's, 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 this is a lot of swim bait retail. So. so, I guess, all right, so as long as we're talking about specifics, I know uh, Kitex is probably the most popular, uh, but you mentioned a little easy and that. But we're talking about size, so two and a half to three inches or so matching yeah, bait size. Your, almost around three inches. Around that's three cool. inches. So let's talk about color then, because color can sometimes isolate like the brand you're focused on. What do you, what do, in general are you looking to mimic when it comes to those? Uh, well, you're always trying to mimic a blueback heron okay. or a threadfin shad. <clears throat> Silver sides, brownish, greenish top, that's where you're brownish going for. So top. Tennessee shad, blueback heron. I mean, other companies make colors called blueback heron, like spot sticker. Uh-huh. There's so many different variations of it, but if you stick with your silver sides uh-huh. this time of year, with your brownish greenish top, that's all you need. Pretty simple. So let me ask you this follow-up question too. Uh, where I, when I was driving over here from from Alabama, I noticed the water's super dirty in a lot of places. Mm-hmm. How much I've played with it a bit on Smith, but it actually it's worked more for smallmouth when I'm throwing this little finesse thing with the Kitek. Do you guys dip a lot of tails here? We do. Like, I mean, so when you, get in that di- when you get in that dirtier water, I will take and dip it in JJ's or spike it in the tail. Just in the chartreuse. The in chartreuse. Do yeah. you ever use any other that's, color? That's a whole deal with spots. Man. You can use orange, but that's more when like the bluegill or, or spot. Okay, yeah. Um, but no, chartreuse is kind of the deal in that staying water right now. And is JJ's the way to go, or do you, do you spike it, or use I whatever you use got? I mostly JJ's. Okay. And the reason I use JJ's is because <clears throat> if you do get a little on you, and you do get a little on your boat, a little bit of sun, that's why it's called magic. Because a little bit of sun and a little <laughs> yeah. bit of scrubbing, it comes, it comes it out. Away. So let's start terminal tackle. Uh, one thing, if we're going to get into the swim bait thing, um, mm-hmm. I know that I play around with a ball head quite a bit and that, that goat jig, especially if I need like a stouter hook. What, what are some other jig recommendations or kind of terminal tackle setups for throwing these kinds of swim baits? I've been throwing a 2.8 a lot. Uh huh. And the 2.8 just mimics that perfect shad size this time of year that goes up shallow. Well, with the guppy head. Oh, yeah, yeah, So with the guppy head, you have that 90-degree line tie. Yep. All right, and that makes a big difference because with that 2.8, I'm not just casting them on a cast. Uh-huh. I'm catching them, dropping it straight down. Really? So, so with that 90-degree tie, I can do both with it. I can drop it straight down and give them that vertical uh-huh. presentation, just hold it there, kind of like a Tamiki yep. type deal or moping. Whatever We're going to talk about that in a second. Um, yeah. I can do the same thing with one jig head. So That's interesting because I actually got a couple of those, dude. That's kind of cool. So when would you, so I use that, that goat in that, that, I think it's like a Scotts World ball head or something yeah, like just, that. When, when do you switch between more of a 45 degree line tie versus that vertical? When I'm fishing the grass mostly. Fishing the grass yeah. mostly? Or if I'm, if I'm only casting at brush. Okay. See, typically right now with live scope the way it is, yeah. or with Lawrence at the target, when, when you're flipping, when, I, when I'm getting next to it, I'm getting like 25, 30 feet right. away. Right. And I'm looking at it, make sure it has fish in it, and I'm flipping that, that to tail over to it. Precise, so when you're flipping yeah. that tail over to it, and you, it's not as big of a deal as making those really long casts. I got when you. When you're making those long casts, you're trying to clip it. 
Yeah. So that's, that's what 45 I'm using that works 45. a little better. Yeah. It, yeah. You're going to get it through the brush with that guppy head. Um, it's going to catch on that front lip and just instantly turn that hook up. Uh huh. And, and you brush. can kind of wash it through with that belly on that goat head. It'll kind of like bump through. So let's transition then. So basically, quarter ounce, eighth ounces, they get shallower. Maybe yeah, five, I, I throw, I throw eighth a lot. Okay. Uh, when they start spawning mm -hmm. because when you're having to work it super slow you yep. want to keep it in front of their face longer you know blow throughs blow throughs yeah and they're on blow throughs <laughs> right the now. one thing that i remember dude yeah they I'm are try that. okay so, so an eighth to a quarter will cover you for a night and then once it gets warmer you go three eighths but hopefully i'm going to be back to do a little summer video the thing i want to talk to you about though and it's something i want to learn i've just bought a few sadly not from you i apologize but maybe i'll buy more if i lose some in the brush <laughs> this to me you break dude yeah. One, can I catch some fish on it right now? You can. You're going to have to get around the brush to catch it. I got no and problem you with gotta that. you got to do the whole gusset deal, the whole moping deal. So what you want to do is you want to kind of get around the brush that's got it. You want to you kind of flip that thing over. And I'm not letting it – I'm not throwing it out so far that it's going to hit the bottom over there and I'm having to drag it back. I'm flipping it to where it kind of pendulums back to the boat. I want to pull it through the fish, get them to it, and just hold it there. Okay. That's the whole deal with that. It's really simple. It's, Let me ask Mr. you. It's, it's like a Ned rig. It's do nothing. Dude, I could, I could get into yeah. that. Especially You'd with be really good at it. I would be. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Great advice. So my buddy actually I was talking to. So you're, don't critique me too hard on this because it's not the point. But I tie a Palomar on even my eight-pound fluorocarbon. No, I do too. Okay. Yeah, that's all I tie. Dude, Palomar pros. Yeah, okay. He was telling me that um, you really want to tie like a loop knot on that on that jig to get the straightness out of it instead of what's your take on that i just what i like to do is when i tie my polymer on it is i take and i take the knot around the eye and uh -huh. make sure it doesn't stick okay as long as it swings a little I bit i'm good with that you're good with yeah, it i'm good with that that's yeah. actually another way to do it i'm terrible at learning new knots so i freaking so do you know one thing i tried i ha i fished it just a little bit i haven't been successful but i put a, a shaky shed on the back of that that um that Tamiki rig mm -hmm. looks badass. Yeah, dude. I mean that's like badass. That's kind of what I mean. A super fluke junior, a yeah. shaky shad, any of those shad shaped worms with that's a little what flat you, tail. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Um, the two point eight really works well right now. Like the TZ really work really good with the tail on it. With the tail on it because you're because pendulum you're pendulum yeah. through and then you're holding it there and it's like they either got to I'm, I'm only leaving it in front of their face for two to three seconds. Really? If they don't eat it, I'm reeling it up. I'm doing it again. Okay, so you're not. I guess it's not winter fishing. So you're not like no. sitting there dangling, taking yeah, it. They don't like, have to. Sit there and stare at it. I'm giving them one opportunity to, to get it. And if they don't get Take it, it, if you want. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go do it again. Yeah. So, all right, let's wrap this video up on one more thing. You got something else fun to show or to to talk about that's new, maybe that uh, well, you're bringing in? I wouldn't say new. Okay. But something that I know if if other tackle shop uh, owners are, would be excited for is we finally got reels in. <laughs> This Shimano <laughs> and Daiwa? Shimano, Daiwa, Luz, I got them all in now. And it's dude, just, you got SLXs? Yeah, I got SLX. Dude, this is like this is like Christmas for us. <laughs> so this is really nice. So, so if you guys want, actually, this, this video is going to go up pretty quick. We're running the Gambler Free Tournament out in, here on Lanier. Tim and Hammonds has always been a great supporter of the free tournament. Uh, it's not going to go up before that, so you can't come out to fish. Or, this isn't a plug for that. But if you guys want to grab some Shimano stuff, and this is all online, too. Yes, yeah, so so, most of it online. And it ain't gonna last. No, it's not. Okay. I mean, they're, they're saying this is all we're gonna get for most of the summer, so it's like. I'm saying, like, it ain't gonna last right in here for the next, like, two weeks. You got, like, two or three weeks, everybody's buying yeah. stuff. Actually, that's one really cool thing I wanna quick ask you about. Um, I was talking to you guys at the desk, and they said there's a lot of people coming in who are literally like, hey, bro. I just got my, like, check my stack stimulus or whatever. Yeah. I have never fished before, and I'm looking for a new hobby or a new activity. <clears throat> what if, give a couple quick, like, words of advice, or maybe even a quick, simple setup or a price. I don't know. Throw a little advice to a lot of those guys who are just getting started. Uh, the easiest thing to do if you're just getting started is just to come get a combo to see if you even like doing it. Because a lot of these guys don't even know if they're ever going to use them again. So just a, just a, you know, $50 to $75 combo is all you need. Get you a shaky head, a swim bait. I mean, really, you don't need much more right now. They're yeah, spawning. that's true. Shaky head, swim bait, cover some ground with a swim bait. If you got to slow down, you can slow down with a shaky head, roll from there. Pretty and simple. I think what's really cool with Lanier that I've noticed, it's not so much on like gunners on that. There are a million and five ways to fish from the uh -huh. bank here. Yeah, there's boat crazy. ramps, there's parks, there's Lots there's parks. so much stuff. It's freaking awesome. So I want to go fishing, Tim. You've given me a bunch of insights as usual. Hopefully... Tim said he's not going to come over for the I'm gambler not, free tour. I'm going to come out with you this afternoon. All right, all right. That'll be cool. Where can they find you if they want to grab a reel, if they want to grab some of those sweet baits? What's uh, the website online and all that? Hammondsfishing.com. 
All right, I'll put a link to it. Thank you, Tim. He let he let Bog run loose. Oh, you so oh, excited. <laughs> We're gonna go buy some stuff and go fishing on Lanier. Definitely check out Hammond's. What's up? What's your Instagram? Uh, Hammond's fishing. Hammond's fishing. Yeah. Go go follow him. I'll put links to it all down in the description box. But we're gonna go do some fishing. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll check you later. And um, it just, there's some big ones on this little bar thing. It's kind of like a like a saddle style deal. And I don't know if they're trying or what.